But right now, it's about previewing the BYU football alumni game and doing so with one of the heralded quarterbacks in BYU football history. Max Hall joins us over Zoom. Max, great to have you back on the program. What's up, guys? Hey, I, be on, man. I, want to to, I want to point out something. Okay, so my 10-year-old has been reading a book called The Greatest BYU Quarterbacks in History, and he just read your section, and in his words, he said, I quote, Max Hall was insanely good. And I was like, yes, I appreciate <laughs> that you say that about Max Hall. So, uh, Max, how does it feel to be dubbed one of the insanely good BYU quarterbacks in the history of this program? Listen, he just became one of my favorite kids right there, so I'm all about him. That, that means a lot, man. It just it, it means a lot to be considered in that category because there's obviously been a lot of great BYU quarterbacks, and it feels good to be the best one, you know? It feels good to be number one. Thank you. What is that fraternity like? Because BYU is known for quarterbacks, Max. You're part of that in, in one of the greats. What, what does that being a part of that fraternity mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Like it's, it's, it's a special group. It's fun being able to see those guys and hang out with them and tell stories and all that. But I mean, obviously quarterback you and all the great quarterbacks, I've gotten to meet a bunch of them. So I get to work with Ty now and we banter back and forth about stuff, but it, it's, it's when you look back at it and really think about it, it's, I'm very blessed to have had the opportunity to play and be considered one of the, one of the greats or, or whatever you want to say. So it's a blessing. Max, as one of the greats, you're returning to play in the BYU football alumni game set for March 31st. When you were presented with this opportunity, why did you jump at it? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack Tamuni called me up. He's like, Max, come play in the alumni game. I said, absolutely not. I want people to remember me when I was good, not now. <laughs> that afternoon, Max Hall's playing in the alumni game. Here we go. So, <laughs> I mean, I, at that point, I'm in, right? And so, you know, now I'm thinking, hey, you know, I've seen some clips before. We'll be in the IPF, you know, little game, and then we'll have the spring game that afternoon, right? Next thing I know, they're doing a little practice, and the feature thing is this alumni game. So now I'm in. Like, I, I am all in. I called John Beck the other day. I said, drop everything you're doing. Come to AZ. I need you to train me for the next two weeks. I got to get ready for this game. So it was kind of funny, man. But no, this is going to be fantastic. And I appreciate the opportunity. But um, it's going to be fun to see a bunch of old teammates and a bunch of old players there at the game and get to hang out and have a good time and uh, ham it up a little bit. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, Max. If I set the over under at three on hamstring pulls, are you taking the over or the under? Uh, just, come on, that's an easy bet. We're taking the over. We're <laughs> taking the over on that. You know, that's one of the first things I said. I was like, what, what's the deal? Like, are, are they going to be able to rush me? Because if I'm having to, like, dodge rushers, though, I may not make it the whole game. We might need a backup. I need Brendan Gaskins on the team, man, because I'm, I'm going to need a sub. So, um, I, I, I don't know. I hope everybody stays healthy. I hope it'll be competitive, but at the same time, let's uh, <laughs> let's not be hurting guys out there. Well, look, for anybody that's seen you recently, they know that you're in pretty good shape, to say the very least. I, I don't think you're going to have to worry too much about that. Hey, so I started throwing. I had to start throwing in, like, all my quarterback trainings and sessions that we're doing. I had to start jumping in and throwing a little bit, and – I still got it. You know, I mean, it, it, it's still there. So, I mean, uh, it, it'll be fun. Are you telling your high school kids that you coach to watch this game live on the BYU TV app, or are you trying to keep uh, them oh, away from this? Oh, uh, they're all over it. Uh, in fact, uh, some of them are actually going up to watch the game. Like, they're, they're all over it. Like, coach, you better ball out. You better not lose. You know, they're giving me giving me crap. But, uh, yeah, they've, uh, they helped me, you know, when we when we posted that committed thing. I was like, guys, I got to make this look like I'm, you know, I, after a great conversation with coach Sataki, I'm committing, you know, do the whole thing that I always make fun of when they post these things, but um, they're, they're involved in it, man. And, and actually it's been surprising how many people have come up to me in Arizona saying, Hey, we're going up for the alumni game. Can't wait to see. So I'm like, this might be a lot of people there. I'm hearing that it might be on TV. 
And I'm like, I can't, I can't look like a chump. So I'll be ready to roll. I'll be ready to go. Well, we can confirm that it's going to be on television. It is on TV. We're, we're putting it on TV, Max. We found oh, out you were in. This is on BYU TV. We're putting this thing on TV, brother. It, that's going to happen. Oh, boy. So are you, are you bringing Dennis up? Is Dennis coming? Is like Ty, is Ty coming up? What's, are, are you bringing any, uh, any tag alongs? I try to, man. So Ty's like, Ty's like, yeah, once I found out you're playing, I'm not playing. You take it way too serious. Bro. And I'm like, <laughs> whatever, man, get up and play. But, and then, you know, Dennis, I, I think Dennis actually really wants to play, but with his hip injury, it's just not smart for him to play. Um, so I'm still trying to get him to come up. I was like, hey, come be the coach, man. I, I need somebody to call plays for me. Come be the coach. But I don't know if he's going to make it or not. Ask Dennis if he would reconsider if we allowed him to tackle Jerem. <laughs> See if that would be a game changer. <laughs> I think that I think that seals the deal. Yes. I think if Dennis gets a free shot at Jerem, I think he gets up. <laughs> the question is, is Jaron man enough to take that hit? That's the question. Uh, we're clipping this off right now, and we are tagging Jerem in all of his social media accounts <laughs> to see how he responds to this. Max Hall is with us on BYU Sports Nation. In all seriousness, we cannot wait for the alumni game. We think it's going to be a fantastic turnout for fans and a very exciting event. You're going to compete against Kevin Federick, another really good BYU quarterback on the other side but with that in mind let's turn the page to the actual BYU football team and I want to rewind to the moment you're with your son and you're running out the flag for BYU and that epic weekend where the Cougars are officially invited into the Big 12 they beat Utah and then put together just a remarkable season overall Max what was that moment like for you and then to watch BYU compete the way that they did for the remainder of the season after the win against Utah Special moment, special moment, you know, ha having my family there and, and being able to run out of the tunnel and, and have Rex there with me and him getting to see and feel what it's like to run out and be in front of 64,000 people and hear the crowd cheer and then get to watch BYU play and get to be down on the sideline a little bit. Um, really special for me and him, but then to watch the Cougars rise to the occasion and beat the youths finally um, hopefully now I'm not a curse to the, the program anymore. Cause I, I mean, that was driving me crazy, but here's what was really cool about it, guys. I haven't been back to BYU. I haven't been back to that stadium in a long time. And, you know, with my past and the mistakes I've made and having to overcome my, my addiction and, and, and get back to where I am today, BYU fans, Utah fans, everybody was so receptive and it was really cool to see how many people came up and wanted to talk and just be back in that environment and see old teammates and coaches and special, special weekend for us, man. I'll never forget it. Fantastic stuff. Max, let's finish with this. What are your expectations for another Hall, Jaron Hall, as he approaches his next season? High expectations, man. I mean, if I'm Jaron Hall, I have the mindset I'm going to win the, win the Big 12. I mean, is there any other way to do it? Like, that, that's got to be the mindset. And I think this is a big year for him. There's a lot of expectations. Number one thing is the kid has to figure out a way to stay healthy. He's got to have a good off season. He's got to get his body prepared. He's got to play smart. And um, I think if he does that, we could have a very, very good season. I'm looking forward to watching. I think a lot of people are excited about the new what's coming up next for BYU and the big 12 and the team that we have. I think it's going to be an exciting year. Max, you clearly still do have it, not just off the field, but on the field uh, in both their arenas, man. Thanks for the time. It's great to catch up with you, and we look forward to seeing you in the alumni game. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. Thanks for having me on, guys. We'll see you next week. You got Thanks, it. Thanks, Max.